When workplace hazards cannot be eliminated or reduced to a safe level through other methods, your employer will use personal protective equipment, or PPE, to create a personal barrier between you and the hazard. After completing this course, you should be able to identify common types of PPE and their uses. You should also be able to identify OSHA's requirements for PPE and the responsibilities you and your employer have for selecting, using, and maintaining PPE. Lesson 1. PPE Standards, Use, and Maintenance The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, maintains a set of standards for your employer and PPE. For many types of PPE, such as respiratory protection and hard hats, OSHA provides additional requirements that can vary depending on both the workplace and the hazard. OSHA requires all PPE to meet minimum specifications set by organizations such as the American National Standards Institute, or ANSI, and the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH. Generally, your employer must provide the appropriate PPE at no cost to you. The PPE must be in good condition, and your employer is responsible for replacing any damaged PPE. Your employer must also train you over any necessary PPE, as well as ensuring that you properly wear and care for it. PPE does not remove or reduce hazards. It only provides a barrier between you and the hazard. Your employer should perform a hazard assessment to determine your levels of exposure and any PPE you will need. In some cases, you must be assessed by a qualified physician or have the PPE fit specifically to you. In most cases, your employer should select and provide your PPE at no cost to you, and they should also train you over how to put it on and remove it, as well as how to adjust and care for it. Training must include when PPE is necessary, what its limitations are, and how to properly maintain it. If an incident occurs or an employee is found to be using PPE incorrectly, your employer will retrain employees. In a few cases, you may be required to provide your own protective clothing items, like winter jackets or steel-toed shoes. Employers also sometimes allow employees to supply their own upgraded, custom-fit, or prescription PPE if it meets company guidelines. In these cases, your employer is typically not required to pay for the items, but is still responsible for making sure any PPE you provide is safe and appropriate. While your employer will provide you with specific instructions for cleaning and caring for any PPE you're provided, there are some general best practices that you can apply to caring for any PPE. Store your PPE out of extreme conditions, especially sunlight and extreme cold. Regularly clean your PPE and do not alter or add to your PPE unless allowed by your employer and the manufacturer's guidelines. Before you use your PPE, Visually inspect it for damage or significant wear, and notify your supervisor of any holes, cracks, or other damage. You should also notify your supervisor if your PPE has protected you in an incident, as it may need to be replaced. One-time use or disposable PPE must never be reused, even if it has been cleaned. Reusable PPE can be cleaned and used more than once, but must be disposed of when it no longer provides appropriate protection due to damage or wear and tear.